I'm Laura Lee. I'm team leader for our uh, Nova Scotia and PEI offices. So we're way out on the uh, East Coast. Um, I want to say good afternoon to all of our agents who have joined us today. Um, and good morning to all of our people from the West Coast. Uh, congratulations for making this a priority in your business. I have the pleasure of talking about technology and I've got four fabulous agents uh, who have enabled their businesses completely and at a very high level for uh, technology and making sure that they're using it throughout their business. Uh, we are going to have Kirby Chan with us, uh, Jean Boucher, which I don't see yet, um, Leslie Briggs, and uh, sorry, John Baker. So um, if you all uh, can, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? We can start with Kirby. A lot of people know Kirby. Um, you have a couple of minutes. Tell us about your business. Tell us about you and tell us about how you use technology. Hey, very cool. Thank you, Laura Lee. <laughs> and uh, so my name is Kirby Chen. I'm in the Toronto uh, area. I'm just a little bit north of Toronto, uh, north of Steele. So I'm in Richmond Hill officially. So I have a real estate team here. I have uh, uh, five uh, admin team. Uh, they're all in the Philippines. I have uh, four agents on the team. And so total, it's there's a 10 of us, okay? 10 of us in the real estate team. Uh, I mandate myself. I have a, a rule that I just heard a little bit from the other panel was like take a day off or, and, and, and not have a burnout. So my thing is that I work four hours a day uh, in real estate. So Monday to Friday, four hours, and that's my limit. Um, for me, it's uh, I have the Kirby Chen & Co, which is real estate. I have the education uh, and coaching. So I, I teach students how to use technology with KW Command and Facebook, especially Facebook Playbook. And then number three, I have the virtual assistant company in the Philippines where I support agents in um, implementing all of these things. Cause I find a lot of agents are like, uh, technology is really great, but then how do I do it, right? So then I set up a company in the Philippines that they actually uh, do it for you, okay? So those are my three things that, that I do. Uh, so inside of um, my business, um, I use the Facebook playbook and basically go through social media and, and uh, acquire more raving fans that way. So I have the raving fans that I acquire, then I have KW Command, and basically they match each other, okay? So I store everybody from social media, I put them into my KW Command. And then I Excellent. do business with all those people that are raving fans. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, Kirby. Thanks so much. Sean, are you here? Can you give us a little bit about you? Yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. It's Sean Baker. I'm uh, with uh, KW Innovation out of Guelph and uh, Kitchener area. Uh, we have a team. Uh, it's myself, Director of Operations, uh, Leah, and then we have an ISA as well, Angus. And um, yeah, uh, we use uh, command for lead generation and uh, for database nurturing. So um, uh, on top of uh, that, we're barely active on socials. I'm a graduate of Kirby Chan's uh, Facebook playbook um, and uh, definitely uh, uh, you utilize that and uh, using Facebook within our, um, within our uh, business as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, most of that's just nurturing our past clients and uh, and our database. Very good. Thank you so much. Is Leslie here? Leslie Briggs? I am. Hi, everybody. My name Hi, is Leslie Briggs. Hi, Hi Laura Lee. Thank you. I'm with uh, Keller Williams Co Elevation in Toronto. I pretty much work south of the 401 right across the city. And I'm in the early days of my fourth month in business. Uh, fourth year in business as a solo agent. And recently I added my first admin. Um, I've got a pretty extensive background in renovations and contracting, property and facility management. And I've been a landlord and an investor for more than 13 years now. And I'm just super happy to be here today. 
Excellent. Thanks so much for being here. I want to thank all of our panels first for taking the time out of their business to come and talk to us about real, uh, real estate uh, technology and how you can use it in your business. And these four panelists uh, use, sorry, I'm missing one. Jean, are you here? I don't see you on my screen. That's why I missed you. I so apologize. That's okay. No worries, Laurie. I'm here. Okay. Uh, so my name is Jean Richet. I am at KW Integrity in Ottawa. I've been licensed for almost 18 years. I, uh, I have a team. I am a single agent. I have a team of three admins. I have my wife who takes care of my marketing. I have my daughter who takes care of my trades. And I've just recently an, uh, hired another full-time admin that takes care of uh, my database, command, my listings, and all of that. Um, definitely, I mean, I've, I went from being a, working on a team as an admin licensed, then I grew a big team, small team, big team, small team, but now I'm a solo agent and uh, that's that's what I want to keep doing right now. Um, my, my, the technology that I use is like, again, like everybody else, like Facebook, Instagram, uh, we use our websites, YouTube, all the different social media channels that we can. And uh, we're pretty busy uh, and we just totally enjoy the technology command and, uh, that's that's where we are here in Ottawa. Fantastic. Uh, welcome. And again, thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Um, if you have questions for our panelists, please put them into the chat at the bottom and we'll try to get to all of your questions during the session. Um, Jean, why don't we start with you? Uh, how much is command part of your business now? Uh, we, I would say probably 99% of my business is built in command. Uh, whenever it was first launched, we just fully got immersed into it. Uh, it's just something that it's just simple. It's easy. It's one, one stop shop for everything that we do. Uh, if, if command can do it, we're definitely doing it in command. Um, you know, there's certain things that, you know, we still have a few outside, uh, other platforms that we're using, but I would say if if command can do it, we're definitely using command for everything possible that we can in our business. And how long have you been using it? Uh, I was actually uh, at the I forget if it was family reunion when Gary was on the stage and that vi that first video played that they were announcing command and um, whoever was there, I'm sure you heard like the bass, the sound, the video was just so like overwhelming. It was just like the excitement was in the crowd. And, and if, if anybody was there, you can probably remember that feeling you got from listening or watching that video. And when I was there, I texted my admin and said, get ready. We're using command, go to agent.kw.com, log in, get it up and running. We were just totally, totally immersed into it right from day one. Oh, fantastic. And how about you, Leslie? How much of uh, your business is uh, worked through command? 100%. Uh, for me, command is an integral part of my business. I use it in every way I can so that I can work both on the business and in the business at the same time. You know, the day-to-day -day use with a CRM is super easy. I can see my priorities for the day. I filter my contacts with DT, D2 tags that I created so I know who I need to call. It helps me plan and know where I am against all my targets. It helps to motivate me when the GCI or my appointment numbers aren't where they need to be. Uh, and it gives me ultimate leverage through smart plans and the design templates. I just think it's awesome to use. Excellent. And how long have you been using it? Yeah, I started um, right in uh, the first time I heard about it was family reunion in New Orleans, February of 2019. And I was only three months in as a solo agent at that point, having just come off working uh, on a team for six months. And I knew I needed a CRM, but I didn't know anything about CRMs. And, and as John says, you know, that video, as soon as I saw its capabilities, I was hooked. I knew it was the future and I knew it's where I wanted to be. And I've never looked back. I think when everyone seen that video, we realized our lives were changing at that oh, yeah. time. Oh yeah. Which was yeah. fabulous. Uh, Kirby, how about you? How long, much of your business is in command? Your real estate business. Um, so how, okay, I, I use command and my business probably we're looking at 
Oh, excellent, yeah. excellent. Because I and how long have you been I've using taken, it? Uh, since it first developed, so I trust Leslie. It was 2019, and it's 2019. <laughs> yeah. So then I, I, uh, I, I we used to remember that too, Leslie. Yeah, the, the big music, right? I, I know what John's talking about. It's rock the whole uh, rock the whole stadium there. Um, and then we, you know what? Before that, there was part of the labs movement, right? Like there was a whole um, the, the, the messy part of command time, right? Back then when we started doing labs and 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 testing it out. Uh, but through command, like I've I've taken it, like I found there's um, limitations, right? Like you only go so far, and I, I'm in a, I consider myself as an advanced user. And so what the good thing about command, it it, op, it operates and it allows a lot of agents now access to technology, whereas it used to be for techies, like maybe the panel was here, okay? And it's like uh, something only someone really techie would be able to do these Facebook ads. But what it does is it opens it up now. And I love it that all the agents now have easy access. Five minutes, you can learn how to make that Facebook ad and shoot it out, right? However, for me, as a more advanced user, I saw like there's more capabilities outside of command after that. So you know how you shoot uh, ads out? Like the reason why it's 75% is 25% is just the extra stuff. Like what happens after the ads? Like the retargeting and all those fun stuff after that, creating custom audience, you can still do that, but it, it would be outside of command. Okay, so that's that's all the other fun stuff that is in addition after like after command. You, yeah. you know we have a great panel of tech people when they say it's fun, which is cool because most people don't normally describe technology as fun, but command is fun to use and very, very user friendly, which is fantastic. Uh, how about you, Jean? How long have you been using? Uh, if you can command? watch now on your phone. What is she saying? Think, uh, She's it's telling you to watch it on my phone. Uh, so how are you going to take a picture? I can screenshot session is, is all about okay suzanne we're gonna Sorry, have to guys. you here yeah we're gonna have to find her okay okay so uh our team is uh probably about 80 percent uh, in command mainly for lead generation and uh our nurture of our database and our clients so uh, and opportunities we i think the most underutilized uh um thing inside command is the opportunities and being able to uh, seamlessly use opportunities as your whiteboard um, and keep track of all of the business that you have going on. So uh, once you understand how it all works together uh, between contacts, opportunities, uh, the lead gen portion of things, then um, that is uh, the most un underutilized thing inside command is the opportunities and, and checklists as well. So uh, we've been using it since the beginning for lead generation. Um, and for our database um, at a higher level uh, since our director of operations came on full-time in September and has built out systems and checklists and uh, um, a lot more uh, data within each of our contacts as well. So we have like uh, custom, we have an onboarding system and uh, utilizing custom fields um, so that we can get to know our clients a little bit deeper and uh, have more, um, more purposeful data uh, that's customized to our team as well. So, yeah. Sounds good. Actually, excellent. Um, so, Sean, let's stay with you. How long did it take you to switch over from the systems you were using before? Or is this the actual first system that you've used? Um, so, we're mostly fully, uh, fully into command. I'd say other than uh, lead follow-up, uh, we're still using follow-up boss with our ISA. Just it's... Uh, kind of uh, a speed thing for them um, and being able to monitor uh, from, uh, I guess, a, a distance, right? So uh, being able to track uh, call volume and being able to have the calls recorded. So that's why we use that. Uh, but once they become an opportunity and they're passed back to the agent, then uh, everything inside uh, from that point on is in command. Um, so uh, it didn't take us really long to uh, utilize it as soon as it was available. Um, we were 100% uh, with our database inside command. Did you have other systems running before you started with command or was command the first real system that you used for your business? I was using Brevity before. Um, so uh, Brevity was very, very similar to 
uh, command and uh, uh, visually uh, very similar as well. Um, and just knowing what was on the horizon with uh, with command, it made sense to dive in uh, fully right away as it started to build out rather than delay. And then it become all overwhelming all at once. So uh, we figured if we start with contacts and then go from there um, and, and tag everybody properly. And as it built out, uh, being able to adapt um, with the systems as it, as it grew. Excellent. Uh, Kirby, same question. Uh, how did you find you're switching over from one system to another system or into command? Um, or did you ever use too. another system or is command it? But, well, before this, we had like, we use our Trello boards, we use Google Sheets, and then we have also Line Desk, uh, the CRM. And um, what like I liked about my old CRM was that, you know, we could text on there because texting is a big part of our business. So when we made the switch over, right, I just made sure there was texting. Uh, then we made the switch over, we imported everybody, you know, according to their tags. So we didn't do one big chunk and do it all at once. We just did it uh, slowly. So we did our um, our raving fans first, right? Move those over. That's my most important people. And then worked with that. And then if we tested it out, see if it worked, it worked. Okay, we moved a bigger chunk over. So we did it in little small portions. Excellent. So how hard did you find that? Was it quite easy for you and your team to uh, move over like that? Yeah, it's easier if you move small chunks like that and clean it up. And if there's anything in command that, that doesn't work so well, you can you can send a, send a comment to support, right? Um, so it's easy for us to do it in small chunks like that. So we dealt with maybe a 500 uh, people database first, right? Okay. And then we move another 500 over. Depends where, yeah, depends on my tags. Yeah. Excellent. What about you, Jean? How did you find the move over from another system into the command system? Yeah, it was a little bit similar. I mean, what we did is from, you know, when we first got access to command, we started using that exclusively for all the new business that was coming in. And then slowly I was, I was using top producer as my CRM. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take five a day, bring them in, clean the database as I went. Uh, so I did that for a couple of months. And then at one point it was just, okay, let's just import everything. We'll clean it up while we're in there. And I think the hardest part was just canceling my top producer. I think that was like, you know, you hang on to it. I probably hang on, hang out, hung on to it for probably an extra three, four months, not using it, but just that safety net. Um, mm -hmm. But then when I cut the cord, it was just like, okay, now we're we're all in. We we're not going back, and you just work with it. So it was a bit of a challenge at the beginning because I was just trying to get everybody else on board on my team to say, you know, we're using command now. We're not using top producer anymore. But mo the more we're using it, the more user friendly it gets. And you know, we knew at the beginning there were going to be some glitches that we're going to have to kind of work through, but there's always a workaround. And like Kirby was saying, you know, if there's a if you have an issue, you just send it to support. And it's a nice feeling to know that they're listening to us, they're fixing the issues that aren't working 100 percent Right. I mean, if you buy a CRM off the shelf, it's it's perfect, it works great. But if they're never updating it, improving it, why buy that CRM? You know, we know for sure that they're updating and everything, especially just the last little while, you know, working on their 66 day challenge of, of stabilizing and making sure that all the features that are in there that are working properly. I think that's made a big change in the stability of command that now, yeah, there are still some small little glitches here and there, but I would say 98%, it just works really, really well. So the transition took a little bit longer than I wish uh, I would have done it, but it was definitely worth the effort of, of going through the, uh, the switch over. Excellent. And how long have you been using it? Would you uh, say? Since, since day one. I mean, we, the minute Excellent. when we had access to it, it was like, okay, we're not putting contacts in uh, top producer anymore. It was, they were going in command, right? So it wasn't, uh, we're going to wait and see how it works. It was just like all in dive in and just because of, of being a little bit of a techie, it's like, you, you don't care if there's little, glitches or things that not work a hundred percent you fix it you work it you make it you make it work for yourself sounds good leslie you use this only you haven't used other systems and you are enjoying using this system for your business yeah absolutely as i said you know i, I didn't have anything to compare it to so i i just jumped in i i, I love the capabilities 
I didn't know what else was out there. So it was easy to transition. It took me all of five minutes to make the decision to, to go all in. You know, I, I just couldn't wait to get home from family reunion and get started, frankly. Um, you know, especially as a new agent, you know, we don't have any systems. We don't know what we even need. We're just drinking from the fire hose. And so I started, you know, as I was building the skills and confidence as a new agent, I also started with command. I started with contacts. And then as I got a little bit more developed, I, I added the opportunities. And then as that became more comfortable, then now I'm layering in uh, smart plans and I just continue to build and hone my skills and just keep adding another layer and another layer. And it's just working. It's, you know, I don't know what else to compare it to, frankly, it's just working for me. So. Yeah, when something's working or works yeah, well. Yeah, it's, it's an organic build. Right. Exactly. Um, if I had to ask you, um, how has command, do you think, affected your business? I know it's a little tougher for you because you don't know real estate without it. Um, but if you really had to think and see what that does for your business, what would you say it is? Or uh, how does it affect your business? Yeah. Uh, you know what, I'd say that it's elevating my game. Um, it gives me easy ways to get traction and visibility online. Uh, you know, for a fraction of what other realtors outside of command are paying, you know, benefit of 180,000 KW agents buying our Facebook ads together in bulk keeps way more money in our pockets, keeps more in my pocket. And I really like that, you know, um, you know, my expenses are low because I does. Right. My expenses are low because I use command. The other thing I love is that just the digital lead gen that's happening 24 seven. I had never been exposed to that before, you know, not as uh, evolved, let's say, as where Kirby is, is in his business. So it's new for me to be generating leads 24 seven, but I'm at attracting them through the various landing pages and ads that I'm creating. And I'm no longer chasing, uh, you know, door knocking or cold calling. And that for me was a game changer. You know, I had somebody blow a whistle in my ear one day when I called and that was pretty much the end of my cold calling. I, I knew I had to find a better system and this gave it to me. Fantastic. So you probably answered this, but what is your favorite system that you have working in the command system? Uh, <laughs> I've got a few favorites, but I, I would say the ease and accessibility of making those smart plan or sorry, the social ads in the campaign section, you know, same mm -hmm. thing when I, when I was first starting out, I was also trying to learn the backside of Facebook business pages. And I found it really challenging and not very intuitive, you know, likely my vintage, right? I was just struggling. Yeah. And so when command started, it just became so easy to make those social posts and paid ads. I can see That's whether it's performing quickly, cancel it, duplicate it, double down, whatever I need to do. And the okay. other piece one that I really one, love, sorry, go ahead. One stop shopping, basically. Yeah, People one stop shopping. Ads, one spot. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. for sure. How about you, Kirby? Uh, how has command impacted your business? Um, I think it's bottom line is the, the cost. Okay, so I was already like using a lot in my CRM already. And doing a lot of email campaigns and all that um but i think command is the cost it, it, it's uh i used to spend maybe about 200 300 and so right now that's easy um that's gone plus i like that my agents can tap into command okay so i'm not buying more users for a seat like for for each uh for each each agent i have so i like that um so your and whole then, team you know what command yeah 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 so you know what the best, the, team... the best thing is yeah oh, sorry oh, the best thing that sorry. i like is just that it's there like all the functions are there and i'm i'm just a i like all the basic functions all i need is the contact to work have a spouse in there i, I don't ask for too much <laughs> that i have a spouse in there that we can uh, uh coordinate with uh, we can have custom fields that we can put things in, like their dog's name, their daughter's birthday, okay, their house anniversary, wedding anniversary, things like that. Can I, I can put in there, 
because I extract a lot of information, insights from Facebook, right? I extract okay. all that information from Facebook. I put it, I put it all inside command. Excellent, excellent. So, yeah. is that your favorite spot, or are there other favorite things that you have with command for your business? Um, favorite, favorite things I'm able to connect with people. So having the reminder there that hey, next week is Sheila's daughter's birthday, right? Mm -hmm. And so we have that inside of command. Like we don't have, we can't do that on Facebook, right? Or we can have hey, you know, it's it's this couple's anniversary next week or in two weeks, right? So I get to make the call to the, to, to the guy and say, hey, it's your anniversary in two weeks. You got a present yet for your wife? It's that kind of magic that can happen, right? That that it's in real life. But I take it from Facebook. I see it's your wedding anniversary. Then I know what to do, you know, 12 months later, minus two weeks. And I put that into command. Fantastic. Fantastic. And yeah. your whole team is enjoying working together and you can communicate with each other through command? Um, so we know our communication is not on command. Right now okay. we're using, uh, right now we're using WhatsApp, right? So we looked, that's that's one thing that's missing for us. If anyone here has Teams uh, can give me something, I tried Slack, I tried Google Hangout, uh, messaging, monday.com, but we're still looking for a communication tool. Okay. Uh, yeah. How about you, Sean? What's uh, it changed in your business? It's definitely made things a little bit uh, simpler. It's one-stop shop. Everything is there. If I'm looking, you know, for for a contact, the opportunities, like everything, it, it's it's all totally integrated. And I think that's the nice feature of, of command is that it's all together. You don't have to, you know, we all have to log into 25 different uh, platforms, but having command just makes it, again, simpler. And as they're adding features to it, it'll make our lives a lot easier for sure. So simplified everything that we do. And we just were, again, just because we're all in, it just, you know, we've, we've bought into it, we're using it and it's just made it easier for us, for sure. Okay. If you had to give advice on how to um, get other agents to start using command, what is the best route to take and how, how would you train your uh, team to get in implementing into command completely? Uh, I would say uh, Marty Miller is the guy to uh, listen to. Uh, his 66 day challenge, uh, when I hired my admin, uh, I didn't have time to train her and go through everything in command. It was like, you know, figure it out, just do like me, log in and play with it, have a good time. But then she went through the full 66 day challenge with Marty. And, you know, there's certain things that we don't use yet uh, that aren't available here. Uh, but she was able to really navigate through command very easily and she picked it up pretty quickly. Um, so definitely, you know, that's one of them. There's a whole bunch of other training sessions there and then just dive in, like, don't be afraid to use it, to break it. Uh, it's, you know, you can't break it and if you break it, they'll fix it. So definitely, you know, get involved and totally buy into it. It'll be your best friend. Fantastic. Leslie, how about you? What would you suggest to an agent who really wants to get started in command today? How much time have you got, Laura Lee? Uh, I have quite a bit, when, actually. <laughs> when I started into this day, I have to agree, Marty Miller, uh, his 66-day challenges on YouTube were a great place to start. Uh, mm -hmm. But then I also layered on top of that Nick Baldwin's Facebook Command Your Conversion Group, Josh Bickle's Command Your Canada Group, Garrett Stewart's Command Consult, Scott Leroy Marketing, and of course, Kirby Chan. Uh, I might also add that in Family Reunion in Dallas, the only thing that I focused on was Command and Facebook Marketing. I, I hit every session that Nick Baldwin did for the entire week. I'm sure he thought I was a stalker, but I just <laughs> knew I had to learn as much as I could as fast as I could. Uh, and so I did, you know, like it was just brilliant. Excellent. Excellent. Um, maybe you can write into the chat all the names that you threw out Absolutely. there so people can copy them down. Um, For sure. How's about uh, Sean? What would you yeah, tell would, uh, 
I, I would say that, yeah, start with the 66 day challenge, pull from your market center tech trainer as well. So if they're, um, you know, that's a excellent resource. If, uh, if you wanted, um, uh, wanted to learn more about where to start. Um, and then if I had to give one tip to just get started, work with whoever you're working with today. So put them into the contact and start there, move them into, put them into the contact, put them in an opportunity, get to utilize the system a little bit. Um, but definitely start with, uh, with that and, uh, dive into whatever resources are available to you. Excellent. Excellent. Um, how's about Jean? Um, let's, let's give one tip and then we're going to answer some questions. So if you, um, can give us or give the, all these agents that are watching us right now one tip on what you think uh, the best things that uh, command has. What would it be? Uh, for me, it's all it's the opportunities. Um, it's just it's it, everything is there. All your documents it connects directly to DocuSign. It's just you know if you can and one of the things I think that was advantageous to us is our brokerage started, if you want to submit your deal, you want to get paid, you have to use opportunities. So you had no choice, you had to learn it. And, you know, just on the getting paid side, but, you know, all the different stages and all the tasks in the opportunities from the buying side, the listing side, definitely get comfortable with opportunities because you, you know where you're going, you know what's coming, you know who's in your pipeline, you know who to reach out to. And then you can predict your income pretty well if you're using the opportunities to its fullest extent. So opportunities for me, you know, obviously with the contacts, but opportunities makes a huge difference in your business. It, it, it lets you know where you're going and it gives you that motivation that okay, I need to do a little bit more. I need to do a little bit better. I need to, you know, to reach my goals, follow your opportunities. That'll be the biggest, uh, the biggest tip to, to know where your business is going. Excellent. Excellent. How's about you, uh, Sean? What is your one major tip? Uh, I'm going to uh, second the opportunities as well and uh, add on checklists. Make sure you're utilizing checklists. Uh, you can have them so that your client gets updated with the checks that you've done. So literally put in everything that you do inside every step of the way. Um, and it adds to that experience that you're giving to your clients. I know that we've had uh, feedback come back from our clients saying that uh, they love that the checklists were there and that they're getting updated with that. And um, yeah, uh, opportunities and uh, checklists. Excellent. Kirby, one big tip. One big tip. Um, yeah, don't, don't go bonkers on the Facebook ads. Like don't spend a whole bunch of money. Get a lot of leads. Then you have like 200, 300, 400 leads. And then I know the qualities and the quantity, but then what do you do with all that quantity, right? You, you, you got to either hire an ISA, you know, like what Sean's doing good business over there. He has an ISA. Or if you're a solo agent, like what are you going to do? You have all these leads. So what I'm seeing is a lot of agents are like, the leads suck. They say command sucks. The lead sucks because, well, what, what happened? You got like 500, 600 leads here. Right. So the thing is, don't go like crazy on, on, on that, on that part, like master the leads and how to convert leads. Right. And if you're mastering on accumulating leads, like it's a collection, well, you're, you're going to be really good at it. You're going to have a thousand very soon, but what you need to do is master the conversion of a lead. Okay. Then you increase your budget. Then you get more leads. Perfect tip. So we do have some questions here. Um, one is talking about smart plans and the best way to implement smart plans in order to uh, follow up or follow up with leads like you were just talking about. What, uh, how do you use smart plan in your business? Did I lose you, Kirby? Jean, can you answer oh, that? Oh, I'm gonna go pass ahead. that, I don't know. My assistant will okay. tell you how to use it. I don't know that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, how do you implement smart plans? I think smart plans, like like same similar to the Facebook ads, like start small, right? Create a smart plan. Pretend that you're getting a lead. 
what are you going to do with step one, step two, step three, step four, step five? Create that smart plan. And before you send it out to anybody, send it to yourself or send it to your admin or to your wife or your kids. Test those smart plans out before they go out live to potential clients because that will make a huge difference because the last thing you want to see is a link that doesn't work, a typo in your email. That is going to make a huge difference. So start small, start, start with, you know, four or five steps. Don't try to create a smart plan that's like, you know, as many steps as you possibly can put in there because then it makes it easier. I have smart plans for my lawyers, my building inspectors, my mortgage brokers. So if somebody calls me up, you know, I'm looking for a mortgage broker. I assign them to that smart plan. It goes out. And then a day later, it reminds me as a task to follow up, make sure they got the email I sent them. So keep it simple, start small, test it on yourself. Excellent. Leslie, how about you? How do you use your smart plans? Uh, I would agree with Jean. I, I'm very selective and slowly rolling them out, but absolutely you have to test them on yourself first. Um, even a simple birthday smart plan, you have to send it to yourself and, and test it because you can't just copy somebody else's canned smart plan. First off, it's not Canadian oriented <laughs> in all likelihood, right? So you're sending out things that don't even make sense in Canada. So, you know, just take the time, test it on yourself, um, layer in one piece at a time. It's just building slowly and building it out. Perfect, perfect. Um, Sean, um, follow up. We've just discussed that one of the um, issues that we have is we have too many leads that come in through command. Uh, how do you work your follow-up system? Or if anyone else wants um, to answer this. Yeah, I have an ISA. Uh, so okay. basically our, our follow-up is there. Um, I would say that uh, the biggest thing that I could say is that always have yourself another task, right? So if, uh, if you're looking to implement a smart plan, start with a simple smart plan, like a bi-weekly follow-up. So the fortunes in the follow-up, a lot of people just, you know, lose sight of the people that are in their database. So uh, create a smart plan where you're sending yourself a task, follow-up, whether it be email, text, phone call, um, and then you can set two smart plans up, one for bi-weekly, one for monthly, and uh, monthly would be somebody that's a little bit further out, and bi-weekly being uh, somebody that uh, you're nurturing. Sounds good. And Kirby? You've got all those leads coming in. How are you following up with those people? Um, so a couple couple ways, like leads come in, and I got a question uh, in the question and answer box, is that we use uh, our chat bot. Uh, so leads come in, the chat bot will chat with them. So that tells us which person to call first. Um, so who's ever chatting with the chat bot answers our pre-qualification questions there. Um, maybe they um, start a home search from there. Uh, because my Facebook ads connected to my chatbot also connected to my uh, agent locator, a home search site. So they, they click the ad, chatbot pops up, they get an email right away with the, the home, um, a home search result, right? Like these are the homes for sale in the area because I'm looking for, um, uh, I'm looking for buyers there. Okay. So those are the people we call first. If anyone's on the chatbot answering, so that it's called many chat. And if anyone's on agent locator and I see them checking out homes on there on, on the site, then I, I call them. So that's that's indications that they're really good, right? Everyone else gets put on a smart plan. Sounds good. So we have some other questions, guys. How's about if if you have an answer or you want to answer the question, just pop in instead of me throwing questions at everybody. Um, what does your day look like in command? I'm going to pick someone. <laughs> First thing you got to log in. I mean, it's great to have a CRM, but if you're not using it, you're not logging in to see what your tasks are, what you have to do that day, or who do you have to follow up with? It's, I don't care what CRM you're using. It's not going to work. Right. So first thing I do in the morning is, you know, my log, I log into my command and see my, the tasks that I have to do for that day. And I start attacking those tasks right from the beginning. So definitely use command with, 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 you know, the, the, the tasks that need to be done, like the checklists, all those things get all kind of, once you create it, creating it is, can be a little bit of a challenging, the challenging part, but once it's created, then it's the tweaking of it that makes it simple. So 
if you're doing something one time, create a smart plan to make it easier, have a checklist for the things that you're never going to forget. Because the last thing you want to do is forget to, to send an email to a client or to send them an update as to the stats of what's happening on his listing. So log in, see what the tasks are need to be done. And that, that'll, it'll just make your life easier throughout the day. Excellent. Leslie, how's your day look with command? Yeah, same thing. I, I would say I'm in it at some point every day. I know I'm checking the tasks. I'm figuring out who I need to speak with that day. Uh, you know, either my, my assistant or I are in there. Um, we're moving the needle in the opportunities. We're making notes. We're calling people. Uh, we're posting social uh, paid ads or social ads. It, it just, it's kind of an organic experience at this point. I'm, I don't know that I'm structured enough, <laughs> but it's uh, fluid. Let me just say it's fluid. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Sean, did you have anything to add about that? Yeah, I'm pretty much the same where I'm, I'm in login, look at my tasks for people tasks first, uh, because that's your lead gen and lead follow up. And then uh, going into my opportunities tasks from there. Um, so if anything is tasked to me that I got to uh, deal with with uh, a transaction or something like that as well. So, yeah. Excellent. How does the, um, how does opportunities organize your life? A lot. <laughs> it, uh, really, really it, it's, uh, it's stre streamlined our business that way and uh, allowed us to not lose track of people and lose track of what's going on inside any transaction. Right. So everything's all there. Um, uh, I think John was saying that, uh, it, it's all there on the system. Your documents are there. It integrates with DocuSign as well. So you can pull documents in. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really streamlined our business and allowed us to really, um, yeah, keep on, on top of every opportunity that's coming into the pipeline and really uh, nurture relationships. Because I think that Kirby was mentioning too, how, uh, how well the contacts uh, integrate with one another. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can keep a ton of data on people, which is fantastic and allows you to be able to deliver that great experience. Fantastic. What about you, Kirby? What has uh, opportunities done for you? Uh, you asked what's my day look like with the command. I can only say that I only go into command now just to look at opportunities. <laughs> oh, okay. Everything great. else is the team looks at it, but I like to use like the, uh, I like to use opportunities. It shows me from like who, where my business is. It's like a snapshot. The health of my business is all there. Like we used to use Trello, um, but this is so much better, you know, cause I don't have to input people twice. The people are all there and then move them along. And then once the deal is done, you add documents in there and then shoot it in, right? Market center. There you go. Submit. So I, that's my favorite part. And if I look at, uh, talk to my agents and look at the pipeline, we know what um, we're going to produce. It's all on there. Right. It's Excellent. very clear. Yeah. yeah. And the administrators really like it. Um, the one thing that a lot of our agents have talked about is how much time they're saving because of opportunities and doing using the system from start to finish. What type of time uh, do you feel you're saving because you're in command now? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. When we first started this, it took more time, okay? <laughs> We're not saving time, okay? And I think even now, I'm not saving time. We used to just upload the documents to the office. They just take care of it, okay? But that, does, that, that doesn't do anything for my business, though. So right now, a business owner, I feel like, you know what, I'm doing it myself. My team is doing it. We have much more clarity in the whole process. Okay, we take ownership of, of this and we get to be a business owner. I get to see clearly this opportunities. So, you know what, it took more time, but I get clarity and then my business went up. So am I complaining? Uh, no, I'm not complaining. So I'm not saving time. More time, more business, more money. <laughs> Excellent. Leslie? Yeah, I'd have to agree with Kirby. It, it hasn't necessarily uh give me any time back but i have much more clarity with where my business is where it's going where it's been what's the where are the gaps um it's just so much easier through the opportunity section to, to understand where i'm at where i'm going it's a Perfect. real it's a real bonus excellent excellent uh sean 
Um, we had a question. Can you please share your checklists with us? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, you can email Leah, L-E-A-H, at bakerrealtygroup.ca, and uh, she will uh, send the checklist to you or Perfect. set up the time to chat. Yeah. Um, yeah. As far as uh, the last question with the uh, saving time, I'd say that the biggest spot where it saved time, Leslie mentioned it earlier, was uh, creating the uh, Facebook uh, ads. It's, it's a huge time saver. If, yeah, you're not going into all different systems just to put an ad in, which is fabulous. Uh, just a few other questions. What did you guys do for physical mailers? Uh, we want to go all in and command, but can't find a good alternative for our mail system. Jean, would you like to, do you do mailers? Yeah, we don't, we've never really done mailers. Um, it's just something that, I mean, we, we've tried a few different things, but just didn't kind of uh, get any kind of results from it. And again, we know it's, you know, if you're going to start doing mailers, it's a, it's a commitment. You can't just do it one or twice, once or twice. You need to do it like on a regular basis, but never found uh, the, the, the need to do it. However, I think in command or in the designs, I have been playing a little bit on the design side. There are quite a few templates in there that you know that you can easily create and i think the one thing that a lot of agents need to remember is like we're always trying to create that perfect unique postcard just remember that probably only one or two percent of people will see your postcard so you're spending a week to design this beautiful postcard that is going in the recycle bin so just get your message out there and you can create it in command download it send it to your printer it is something that I've heard that is coming to Canada that you'll be able to create it, send it to the printer, they'll mail it for you. It is coming. I just don't know when that's going to come. But for whoever's going to want to do those mailers, that'll save you a lot of time and money and effort doing it directly through command. Perfect. Uh, anyone else about mailers or is anyone using them? Yeah. Um, so we use them for our holiday cards. And uh, like we were saying before, with the relationships that actually uh brings in uh the two the spouses names together um so that was uh, a huge time saver at uh, that time of year then we could print out labels rather than having to hand write every address um and then as far as uh the bulk mailers i would look into unaddressed ad mail or addressed ad mail um with one of your local printers and then you can just up uh, continuously update your your database uh, with them perfect Leslie? I have never sent a mailer in my life. <laughs> so I'm afraid I'm not the right resource. <laughs> Perfect. Um, we have a question. What programs have you integrated into command? Has anyone integrated other programs into your commanding system? I uh, just mentioned a few earlier was uh, I integrated a uh, agent locator with the ads and I, I integrated uh, the chatbot with the ads, the Facebook ads. Perfect. Uh, it sounds like you use command every day. Are you in your command system every day? <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's one of the, one of the systems I log in all the time, just because it's just, Everything's there, right? It's the one-stop shop, your contacts, your opportunities, anything that you're doing should be should be part of it. And it's just logging in. Again, if you don't, you can have the greatest system, but if you're not logging in, you're not using it. You know, you can't say that, oh, the command doesn't work. When was the last time you logged in? I don't know, three months ago. So log in every day. Oh, I muted myself. Sorry about that. Um, Kirby, are you in command every day? Uh, I'm not in command every day. My team is though. Your team so is they, in command they every love, day. They're always, they're always, uh, I'm, a, I'm on Facebook every day and anything I have on Facebook that I need updated. Um, yeah, I'm just a simple guy. I, I can't be like inundated with a lot of stuff like smart plans and or, or, or CRM and, and all these fields. So what I do is I do my notes on my lead generation. I do my notes on Facebook. 
then I pass it over. This is stuff I discover, right? And they're gonna add all my insights into faith into the uh, uh, into the into KW command. So I got two other people on, uh, you know, crawling all over Facebook. Two other uh, assistants. So we're all like creating insights. And you know what? Facebook's creating insights on you guys, right? So what I'm saying is go and take that power back, right? Take that insights and use it for your uh, business, okay? So advertisers are using your insights to adver create advertising for you. And you create this type of advertising back to, your, uh, back to your sphere, back to your raving fans. Leslie, are you in command every day? Yeah, pretty much every day I'm in it, my assistant's in it. We're doing something, we're checking where we need to be. I don't spend the whole day there, but I, I definitely let it drive my business. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start wrapping up, guys. So if you have one question, one comment that you'd like to make about command and your business and what is the best thing about it, you can uh, finish up with that. How's that? Sure. Just want to touch on the time saving uh, features. Like Kirby was saying, you know, we might not be saving a whole lot of time on the spot, but in a year, two years, three years from now, if you're looking for that transaction, you're going to be going back to your client's record and then you'll be able to find that opportunity in two seconds. In five years from now, you're not going to find that box, that file that you put somewhere on your Google Drive. This is where I think the long term gain of the time saving is put the time in now so that in five years you're not going to be searching for hours and hours where did i put that file where did i put that document that folder true it's organizing us all i think which is fantastic leslie uh yeah for sure um the thing that i love i think is that it's so comprehensive right i can create landing pages social posts the speed to lead responsiveness through kelly um, and, and in command, I can see when they hit, I can reach out, I can set them on a smart plan. I can see when they're searching on my app and my website, it all integrates into one platform. And I think for me, you know, we talk about the one thing and that's what command is for me. It's my one thing. It lets me just stay on top of it all. And I'm just super grateful for it. No, oh, fantastic. Sean? Uh, yeah, I would say um, uh, opportunities is a huge thing. If you're not utilizing it, you need to uh, take advantage of that. Um, the other one that we've had uh, that's been tremendous for us too is our onboarding process. So when we have a client that we've signed to a buyer rep or a listing agreement, uh, welcome them to our community, to our family, and then having a um, uh, sending them a questionnaire um, to get to know them a little bit better and utilizing those custom fields to be able to um, find out more about them, you know, for whether or not they're a, uh, they drink or a non-drinker, what they take in their coffee, if they do tea, uh, prefer water, uh, charity of choice, uh, all sorts of different stuff and a and, uh, ton of data uh, that we ask uh, to get to know our clients better to be able to deliver that experience as well. So. Fantastic. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Kirby? So KW Command, uh, use it. Okay, that's that's the number one thing is use KW Command. And second thing would be to talk to more people, right? And so if you use KW Command, don't talk to anybody or don't message anybody and don't communicate with anybody, like it's of no use. So KW Command is, is a tool. It's how we go and use the tool. And if there's something blocking you, like how I was blocked a couple of years ago, like I took the course, the Landmark Forum, and that really, you know, transformed me to be able to talk to anybody and to be in any conversation with anybody, you know? And so that being in conversation with people, putting them in command, like those two things I see for a new agent, um, success is, is key. Fantastic. Uh, so I think we're going to end it there. And uh, I want to say thank you to our panelists. You did a fabulous job. And uh, obviously, you definitely know your business with command. So congratulations and thank you.